Hi friends, I'm Amy, welcome to my kitchen. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a really fun recipe. I'm going to show you some mini cheesecakes. They're really simple and really delicious. Um, the first thing you're going to do is make the crust. And it's really simple. I have some graham crackers here. You can use shortbread cookies or those vanilla wafers. Um, those will also work. I've got some graham crackers. And I need to crush them up pretty fine. You can use a baggie and a rolling pin to crush them by hand, but I'm going to pulse them in my blender. Now, you can um, kind of just estimate uh, the ingredients, um, but I will give you measurements if, if that's more helpful. Um, you need about three quarters of a cup of get this. three quarters of a cup of the graham cracker crumbs. And again, we're not looking for exact. You just want the right texture. And then I'm going to melt five tablespoons of salted butter. Unsalted would work too, it really doesn't matter. And then two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, just gonna pour the melted butter in here. And we're just gonna stir it around. You just want the consistency so that when you press it together, it, it presses, it can press down and hold its shape. You don't want it too crumbly. That's gonna be perfect, I think. If it's too crumbly, just add a little bit more butter. Okay, I think we're ready with that. Now, I have, um, a muffin tin lined with some cupcake liners. I, for this recipe, I like the foil ones. Um, you, The paper ones will work just fine though. And I do give them just a light spray. I've already sprayed these. Um, just because you're gonna peel this liner off to have the little mini cheesecakes. Um, and then I have, I set the uh, pan inside another jelly roll pan because you're going to make a water bath in the oven. I'll show you how to do that. That just prevents the cheesecake from cracking. It's not absolutely necessary, but if you want to have a smooth top, um, I recommend doing the water bath. But we're gonna start by just spooning a little bit of the mixture. I would say, oh, a couple tablespoons. And you're going to press, press it down on the bottom. Feel free to add more if you really like that thick crust. And this amount is going to make a dozen mini cheesecakes, but I almost always double this. Okay, then you're just gonna press it down with, with the back of your spoon or just with your fingers. Just lightly press it down. Okay, there we go with that. I'll just set it aside and let's make the filling. Okay, for the filling, you need 10 ounces of cream cheese. Mine's over here. Make sure it's uh, room temperature, you want it soft. All right, cream cheese, then a Half a cup of sugar. And I'm 
gonna mix this around. Cream it together. I'm going to add two eggs. And one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, I'm gonna scrape my bowl down at this point and scrape my scraper off. My beater off, I mean. Mix that really well. All right, while that's mixing, I'm going to squeeze out one tablespoon of lemon juice. You just wanna make sure there's no bits of cream cheese in there. So let it go a minute. In fact, I'm going to scrape it down again. We're almost there. I just want it really smooth. That's why it's important to have your cream cheese uh, room temperature. If it's cold, that's when it makes all the chunks. Alright, we're getting there. To that, I'm going to add my lemon juice. One and a half tablespoons of flour and then three quarters of a cup or six ounces of sour cream. Scrape my bowl down again. Okay. I'm gonna let this go until it's really smooth. You might even want to use the whisk attachment at the end here to just make sure it's all totally. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Now, pan, and you're going to spoon in the filling and you want it to go almost to the top. It's not gonna puff up like cupcakes do. It's going to stay about the same level. It is easier, you can spoon it in um, with a spoon, but it's, it's a lot easier if you pour it into a, just a little less messy. Again, they don't really rise, so you can fill them quite full. Okay, now we're going to go in the oven. Don't try to pour the water in here first because then you're carrying that over to the oven and that's really hard to do. So put this in the oven first. It's at 320 degrees. And I'm actually going to just pull this out ever so slightly so I can reach in. And I have some water here and you're just going to pour it into the jelly roll pan. Okay, now carefully push that in. And 
these will bake 18 to 20 minutes. You don't want any brown on the top, but you want it to, um, well, I'll show you. So we're going to start with 16 minutes and you don't want it to have any color on the top. You don't want any brown on the top, but you'll know it's done when the center no longer looks wet and when you shake it, it just has the tiniest jiggle. Um, so let's start with that, 16 minutes. All right, um, now we're gonna take these out of the oven. It's a little tricky. Please be careful. If you try to get the whole tray, you run the risk of splashing your arms with that hot water. So um, just carefully, just try to get the, just the muffin tin out of there. So I'm just gonna gently lift the muffin tin. Ooh, I'm scared. Out. So I can just grab just that. Yay, got it. And then just turn your oven off and let that cool down before attempting to pull that out. I just don't want anyone to get burned or hurt. Okay, I have my cheesecakes out of the oven and I let them cool completely. In fact, you want to chill them. I stuck them in uh, my fridge and they were in there for a good half an hour, 45 minutes. They're completely chilled. And now I'm able to unwrap them. And you can see how pretty those are. I love it. And then I'll show you a few different options for garnishes for toppings. There are so many different options. I like fruit the best. Um, you can use fresh fruit. I've got some fresh um, black, blackberries there or some raspberries are delicious. So I've got some berries on there. You can slice up some strawberries and just place those on. That's really good. My personal favorite is I like to get a round of kiwi and I just kind of run my knife around the outside, just inside the skin and place that on top. That's really delicious. I love that one. I can't find it right now, but I had a can of mandarin oranges are delicious on top. Just make sure you drain them really well. And if you don't want to use fresh fruit, um, pie filling works great. Cherry pie filling, blueberry, and it, it looks really pretty too on top. So there are just lots of different options Blueberries on top would be really, really pretty. I'm gonna do another one with some, maybe some mixed berries. All right, there you have it. Our mini cheesecakes, so pretty, so easy. Um, thanks for being here in my kitchen with me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Just make sure to like and comment and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more recipes like this.